Hey Sagittarius, what's going on with you guys? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you your A and B reading for the month of June 2021. I want to thank you guys for coming to the channel. Those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who continually come and support, thank you so much for what you do. Uh, this is a reading about you and your person. This could be somebody you're currently dealing with. It could be somebody that you dealt with in the past. But it, it, it in uh <sighs> Uh, sorry, you know, Mercury retrograde. My brain, I have a um <laughs> I have uh Saturn in 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 uh Gemini, right? So my thoughts be coming a mile a minute, but Saturn will slow my speech down so that I can't say, you know, what comes. So um, you know, I'm feeling this right now with this Mercury retrograde. So forgive me with my words if I stutter over them a bit. You know, my um thoughts come a mile a minute, but you know my mouth can't keep up <laughs> sometimes so I kind of trip over my words sometimes but uh, this is a general read for Sagittarius in your person uh, so take what resonates leave the rest okay very general don't try to make this fit uh, if it's not for you it's not for you check your other placements if you're concerned about somebody that you are or were dealing with if this one doesn't resonate okay uh, this doesn't matter what placement of Sagittarius you have. You can have Sagittarius, you can have Jupiter and Sag. It could resonate, okay? There's no limit. Um, and those of you who are new, I incorporate a lot of astrology into my readings um, because uh, I understand uh, a significant amount uh, about astrology. So I include it in my readings because it's just factual. You know, it's a form of psychology and it just makes sense. So, you know, if you're the type of person who's not in, into that type of thing or you don't understand or you prefer not to look at psychology, uh, psychology in reference to astrology, then, you know, I'm, I'm not going to read it for you. And that's OK, you know, um, but just keep in mind that, you know, I use all forms of divination tools here. You know, the eighth house energy deals with the occult and the occult is not limited to one form of divination. So keep that in mind. So we're going to start with person A. Okay, so person A, person B. All right. Um, the top cards are going to tell me how each feels about each other. The bottom cards are going to tell me the actions each took towards one another. Keep in mind, either one of these could be Sagittarius. In my readings, always keep in mind that if, if there's a good and a bad person, there's a Sagittarius who's doing good to somebody and there's a Sagittarius who's doing bad to somebody. It's up to you to figure out who's what okay so you know keep that in mind i'm not one of those readers that says oh sagittarius you didn't do anything this person did you dirty da, 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 da. yeah that might be the case and i might bring that up but on the flip side there's a sagittarius who's doing dirt too okay because that's the reality of the world you know there are good and bad in every sign so you know we deal with the real over here in these parts so with that being said let's take a look at person a so we have the uh two of swords that came out in reverse okay so the two of swords energy for me, that is, um, that's Libra, okay, moon and Libra. Uh, and I feel like with this, this could represent two things. It could represent somebody who makes a decision and it could also be that that decision is based on what they want and they don't care about anybody else's feelings. All right. Um, so it could be <clears throat> to their advantage, but let's see. So we have the 10 of cups, Piscean energy. We have the, uh, the page of swords, which is Libra energy. The Hierophant, Major Arcana here, which is uh, Taurus. And we have the Page of Coins, which is uh, Capricorn. So what I'm seeing here as far as how Person A is feeling towards Person B. They look at Person A, uh, Person A is looking at this person over here as if this is somebody I want to be in a relationship with or someone I am in a relationship with. This is somebody I want to have a family with or someone I do have a family with. Um... And then we have the Page of Swords. So I feel like this is the way Person A is thinking of Person B. It's like, yeah, I want to be with you. I could have a family with you. You know, we could be in a really great relationship. You know, um, this is what I see for us. You know, maybe um, Person A has not expressed that. Um, but this is what they feel about Person B. The actions that they've taken is the Hierophant energy and the Page of Coins. So yeah, they see this as somebody that they could settle down with. They see themselves being able to have a spiritual uh, connection or union with this person, maybe getting married, and with the page of coin, maybe having children, um, but having a bond with this person um, like no other. So I feel like this is, person A is looking at person B is like, you are my boo. You're the one I want to be with, right? Uh, so let's see how person B feels. We have the 
Nine of Inspiration. It came out in reverse. Okay, Nine of Inspiration. So that's the Nine of Wands for those who are trying to correlate. So the Nine of Wands in reverse is an energy of someone who is... It could be a couple different things. It could be someone who's guilty of something or found guilty. If we're dealing with a court of law or just someone, yo, I caught you out there doing what you, you know. This could be someone who gives up and surrenders. This could be someone who decides not to fight anymore. Someone who could be unblocking you. Like, okay, I, I won't block you no more, you know. So, you know, with person A, this could be person A wanting to reach out. But person B could have them blocked and maybe person B may decide to unblock them. It's like, all right, I'll take your calls or all right, I'll answer you. So let's see. So we have the uh, Muse of Materials. The Muse of Inspiration um, in Upright. So this is the, okay, so this is the King of Wands, right? And then this is the uh, King of Pentacle in Reverse. And then we also have the Six of Materials that came out in Reverse. And we have the Major Arcana of the Magician. Okay, Mercury Energy. Mercury's in retrograde right now. So the way person B feels about person A is... This could be somebody that they already are in a relationship with and they don't want to be in one anymore with them. So they are taking action. Okay? Uh, with the king of, uh, with the muse of material in reverse and the muse of inspiration. So person B is like seeing person A as, okay, you uh, don't want to commit, you don't want a relationship, and you've taken action to show me that. So what person B's actions are in, re in reference to that is they are deciding that they are going to somewhat uh, even the score, so to speak. Um, and they're trying to manifest something. We don't know what. So let's get a little clarity. That's just the, the, the frame and the structure of the reading. But let's get into detail so that this makes a little bit more sense. Clarify this Ten of Cups for Person A. Clarify this Ten of Cups for Person A. What's this Ten of Cups for Person A, please? Because this is how Person A sees Person B. How's, what's the Ten of Cups? So they see them as somebody that they want to be in a relationship with or that they could be in a relationship with someone else and they're not saying anything. But let's get clarity and confirm. So Ten of Cups is clarified with the Eight of Cups, both Piscean energy. So definitely got some illusions going on here. People not seeing things for what they are. What's this Page of Swords? Page of Swords clarified with the Four of Wands. So person A is looking at person B like, okay, I know you're in a relationship with someone. I know you're with someone else. I know you're seeing someone else. You could very well be married to this person or living with this person. But I see you, person B. I see that you're in a relationship with someone else. You're telling me that you um, walked away from this person. You're telling me that you're no longer with that person. That's what you're telling me. That's what person A is saying. Clarify this Hierophant energy. What's this Hierophant energy? Hierophant clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. But it's taking you a long time to walk away from this person. It took you a long time to walk away from them. Or you're telling me that you're going to walk away from them. So person A's actions are, okay, it's taking you a long time to walk away from this person. So what's this page of coins about? Thank you. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so to cut off this connection. Hmm. Okay, let's get uh, clarity on person B and then we'll dig into this a little bit deeper here. I will make it make sense for you for those of you who are still like, huh? Just give me one second, okay? You know, Mercury retrograde is going on, so, you know, um, things could be a little hairy, but I'm going to clear it up as soon as I get some clarification, okay? So give me a sec here. We're clarifying this. King of Pentacles in reverse here. King of Pentacles in reverse, please, for person B. We have that clarified with the Queen of Swords. Libra energy. We have the King of Wands clarified with the Page of Coin. 
Okay, interesting. Because the page of coin is here and the page of coin is here. The queen of swords is here and the queen of swords is here. Clarify the six of materials in reverse here. The six of pentacles in reverse here for person B. We have that clarified with the knight of cups. So Piscean energy. And then we have Piscean energy over here with the ten of cups and the eight of cups. So a lot of mirroring energy. What's the magician energy, please, for person B? Magician energy. We have that clarified with the knight of swords. Oh, the knight of swords and the king of swords came out. Okay. So uh, let's just keep that in mind. But I'm going to put them back because I don't know which one to take. And I only want one. What's the magician energy, please? But there's definitely some communication with that magician energy. We do know that. Yeah, here's the six of swords in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this magician energy is an energy of someone who is not being honest. Because the six of swords in reverse is an energy of Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius energy is all about forward movement. But when the six of swords is in reverse, this is something not moving forward. So somebody's trying to manifest someone staying with them. Someone not being able to leave them. Okay? So, you know, you got to be careful with the magician energy. You always got to clear. I feel like you always have to clarify major arcanas, you know, to confirm which way the person is going. So, person A. Well, let's look at person B first. So, person B. We have the king of pentacles in reverse clarified with the queen of swords. And then we have the king of wands clarified with the page of coin. So... So person B is not willing to give a commitment to person A. Person B could be involved with someone else. Doesn't necessarily mean that. Because you know the king of pentacles, when he's in reverse, he could be a couple of different people. He could be someone who's married to someone else, okay, and has kids with someone else. Which is why he's not able to give, he or she is not able to give the commitment to person A. We have that clarified with the king, with the queen of swords. So... Person B is looking at person A like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to give you a commitment. It's not going to happen, you know. Um, but we could definitely still have sex with the king of wands. <laughs> and then the page of coins is here. You know, we could we could connect on that level, you know, because the page of coins represents, you know, a connection here. Um, it could represent a child as well. Maybe uh, person B is trying to, maybe person B has kids with person A, but doesn't want a serious relationship. Or what person B could be saying is, look, you know, the only way we could get down and we could be cool, we could be friends with benefits with the king of wands and the page of coin. So if this is not about a kid, this is about, you know, friends with benefit. So person B is saying, so person B is looking at person A like person A is saying, look, you know, person B, the way they feel about person A is look like, look, you know, I can't give you a commitment, but we could be, we could be, you know, we could be friends with benefits. Person A is like, I, I, I know something is up because person B is not telling person A what's going on as far as their other life. Person B had to figure this out with the page of swords and the four of wands. So person B had to figure out, oh, you stepping out, you seeing someone else. And so the actions that person A is taking is like, okay, with the um, Hierophant energy and the Knight of Pentacles, I'm not giving you, okay, so, okay, there's a couple different stories. Let me just do one at a time to make it simple. Scenario one, person A and B are married, okay? They may have children together, they may not, but they, I feel like they're married or in a long-term committed connection. Person B is like, look, you know, I don't want to be in a commitment with you anymore. I don't mind having sex with you and we hanging out, but I don't want to be in a serious relationship or marriage with you anymore. Person A is like, oh, you don't want to be with me because you're seeing someone else. So you're walking away from me to go be with someone else, to go live with someone else. Is that what you're doing? So person A is like, okay, well, if you filing for divorce, I'm going to take my time and signing them papers. <laughs> with the Hierophant and the uh, King, of Wong, uh, King of Pentacles. I'm going to take my time and signing them papers. Right. And, um, you know, we're going to have to go for child support with the page of pentacles and the queen of swords. We're going to have to go to uh, court for child support. So person B is like, OK, you know, you can go to court, but I ain't got no money with the king of pentacles in reverse and the queen of swords. We can go to court, but I ain't got no money for you. 
you know, or you ain't going to be able to get what you thought you was going to get. Like, if you thought you was going to get, um, what is it when it's not, not, you know, not, yeah, alimony. So I feel like person A is going for alimony. And person B is like, you can go ahead for alimony if you want to. The only thing I will take action to do is I will take action to pay for my kid or my kids. I'll give you money for that with the king of wands and the page of coin. But you will not get no alimony. You can forget that. I'm not going to take care of you because I feel like when they were married, person B was the main provider. Okay. And so person B is saying with the six of pentacles in reverse and the king of cups it's like, yeah, I'm not I'm no longer supporting you because I'm not in a relationship with you anymore. So no, I'm not gonna continue to support you. You think I'm gonna continue to support you when we're not in a, we're not in a relationship anymore? You trying to keep me stuck with the magician energy and the six of swords reverse. You trying to keep me stuck in this connection. You know, you're trying to prolong things. And so that's exactly what person A is trying to do with the uh <laughs> with the hierophant and the knight of pentacles, trying to prolong things to get more money. So this is what's going on with these two, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. So that's scenario one. Is there another scenario? No, that's what I'm seeing. So hold on. Let's see if things change when we look at these top five cards. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So somebody's going through a divorce or separation. So we have the two of swords reversed. So yeah, person A is after what they want. They're doing what's best for them. Like I was saying, and originally with the two of swords in reverse, this is somebody who does what's best for them. So this person is doing what's best for them. They're getting over the situation with the chariot energy. They possibly could be moving out or could have moved out. But they're definitely in their feelings with the sun card in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse. Okay, this person's ego has been bruised. OK, um, and they feel like they've been emotionally manipulated or this person could be doing the emotional manipulating. They're trying to. I feel like they're being they could have been emotionally manipulated because then we got over here. Person B is the magician in the six of swords reverse. So I feel like person A is like, yeah, you, you know. You could have tried to get me pregnant or we got kids. You, you need to take care of your kids. Something about that or. Uh, this is uh, somebody who uh, didn't see something coming. They didn't see that this person was manipulating them. So now there is another story. And then we have the King of Swords here, which is somebody taking action to cut somebody off. So now we do have another story here. So the other story is this. Person B looks at person A like, you know what? I'm not trying to be in a commitment with you with the King of, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Swords. I already let you know that. Or maybe they didn't let them know that. Um, it's like maybe person B feels like, you know, I don't want no relationship. You know, I don't want a commitment with you, you know, but I will, you know, I will have sex with you and, um, you know, or I got you pregnant, you know, it's like, okay, well, we're not in a serious relationship, but we, you know, we had a kid together. Okay. And so, mm, okay. Yeah. So person B feels like person A could be trying to set them up. Person B may feel like, yeah, you, you want to have sex with me. I'm not giving you a commitment, but you're trying to lure me back in because you're trying to get pregnant by me or you're trying to get me pregnant to keep me stuck with your ass. That's how person B is feeling. Person A is like um, looking at person B like you're walking away from our relationship with the Ten of Cups and the Eight of, eight of Cups. You're walking away from our relationship. Are you going to go be with someone else? You're walking away from us to be with someone else with the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Okay, well then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to stall that. I'm going to stall that that commitment that you have with someone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up trying to get pregnant by you. Yeah. So there's two stories here. There's two stories here. So that was the first one. Okay. Or well, this one is the second one here. So it's all about someone trying to get somebody stuck with a baby. Now, let's see if there's a third story here. Let's just see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so for person B, nine of wands in reverse. So this is somebody who is not fighting for this connection anymore. They're letting go. They're not defending this anymore. And then we have the four of pentacles. They're guarding themselves. It's like, you know what? Um, they have something to hide or they're, they're guarding their money. Because I feel like person A is after money, okay? And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. 
it's like okay you know knight of wands in reverse and then the nine of swords in reverse so i feel like person uh b is like hightailing it away from person a real quick they trying to get away from them as quick as possible but with the five yeah because with the five of cups in reverse they've changed their mind about person a they no longer feel the same about person a so what could have happened is either person b feels like person a is trying to keep them around because they know that they want to be with someone else so person a could be trying to set up set it up where person b gets pregnant or they get pregnant by person b so person b can't leave so easily or what happened was person b slept with person a and person a lied and said a kid was theirs and it isn't so there's like three or four different scenarios going on here okay so that's what's going on. So person A did this because that's what they wanted to do. It's like, okay, you know, um, yeah, I told you that the kid was yours. Yep, because here's this. Yep, here it is. I told you the kid was yours, but it's really not. Okay, I manipulated you to stick around, you know, because I told you the kid was yours so that you would not leave. Because I knew with the lover's energy in reverse, you had somebody else. And I knew that you wasn't believing in our connection anymore with the star energy in reverse. Bam. Bam. And I knew that you was going to leave me. Uh-huh. There you go. So, person A is, is the manipulator in this situation. Okay? Person B is, um, you know, not wanting to be in this connection anymore. Because they either found out that person A lied about a kid that they had together saying that the kid was theirs and it wasn't. Or that they're trying to put them in a position where they want to lock them down because they know person B wants to leave. So person A is like, yeah, I'm going to stall that in some way. We're going to still have sex and I'm going to make sure that or, you know, I'm going to tell you you're the father of this kid. Or, I'm a, you know, if, the, if it's a woman, you know, the man might be like, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. We're going to be intimate and I'm going to get you pregnant so that you can't go but so far. So this is what's going on with this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the extended and we're going to get some clarity on the situation here between the two. Uh, we're going to find out if there's any love between any of these people, because where are the cups, my friend? I feel like per person A, the way they're looking at person B is that they do love person B. They wanted to be in a relationship with person B, but person B wasn't feeling that person B wasn't open for a connection um, on that level. Or if they were, they are no longer interested because they're interested in someone else. So we're going to find out if person B got someone else. And we're going to find out um, if they're going to communicate. Because I don't show that there's any communication going on between these two right now. I feel like if it is, it's based on court. If there's any communication whatsoever. But I don't feel like there is. Because I feel like with the nine of wands in reverse here. This is an energy of person B saying, yeah, person A, I caught you out there. And this is the energy of person A saying, yeah, I was doing what I had to do, what was best for me. You know? And so person A figured what was best for them was to lie about a child or to try to uh, produce a child before person B left. Because person B was like, I caught your ass. I know what you're trying to do and I'm out. Now, for some of you, like I said, person A and B are married. And so what person A is doing is they're stalling on... Um, giving up the connection so it could be court you know they're stalling in court it could have been a decision that had been made as far as how much money this person's getting but i feel like person a could be trying to prolong it in court just to draw it out just to be an asshole about things could very well be but um we're gonna go to the extended so the link in the, is in the box below we're gonna get some more clarity on some things to find out how these two really feel about each other if there's going to be communication with one another if these two are dealing with other people and what the condition is like with the other people that they're dealing with and the outcome so uh, if this resonates as is feel free to click the like button if you would like to leave a comment on how it resonates feel free to do so any comments that are um, disrespectful to the reading to the channel or to anybody in the eighth house energy community will be blocked you will be blocked there's not going to be any second chance so if you enjoy the content in the channel and you just feel like being an asshole today i suggest you don't do it all right um the link to the extended is in the box below. Hopefully, I will check you in the extended. If not, Sag, I'll see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself. Peace out.